Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Museum Munchkins. I'm Mr. Nick, and today we are all going to be talking about the big, gigantic fish right at the beginning of our exhibit, the Dinichthys. Oh, that's an interesting animal. Have you ever heard of that animal before? Well, we're going to be talking all about it today, but first, we're going to be singing a song about Dinichthys. If you want to stand up on your feet. Now, this song sounds a little bit like I'm a little teapot, but in this song, we're not going to be a little teapot. We're going to be a big Dinichthys, a big, huge, giant, prehistoric fish. So we're going to sing this song really slowly the first time so we can listen and learn all the different motions we're going to do, and then we'll sing it through a couple more times, since it's kind of short. We'll sing it through a couple more times so we can really learn and practice those actions. Are you ready? All right, here we go. So this song goes like this. I'm a big Dinichthys, so can we make ourselves really big, as big as you can? Look at me. Now we can point to our eyes because we're looking. There's armor on my head. So can we knock on our head like there's armor on there and it's not bothering us? We'll just do a little gentle tap on our head like this. And big gigantic teeth. Can we point to our teeth? Ah, very good. I'm a type of fish that's very long. So for this one, we're gonna make our, stretch our hands out like this, like we're making a fish that's really long. I swam through the oceans. So can we make our, put our hands together like this, like we're swimming, this fish that's swimming, or you can swim like this, but we're gonna make a swimming motion. But now I'm gone. And for that part, we can, whoop, jump out of the way. Are you ready to practice that song all together? So let's sing it really slowly again the first time through. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm a big Dinichthys, look at me. There's armor on my head and big gigantic teeth. I'm a type of fish that's very long. I swam through the oceans, but now I'm gone. Are you ready? Let's sing it one more time. Are you ready? I'm a big Dinichthys, look at me. There's armor on my head and big gigantic teeth. I'm a type of fish that's very long. I swam through the oceans, but now I'm gone. Very good. That was an excellent job being a Dinichthys. That's kind of a hard word to say too. Well, we're gonna go out into our exhibit so we can see the Dinichthys and learn even more about them. I'm just gonna set my guitar down and then we can go, come on. All right, everyone, so we are here in our first floor exhibit to look at our Dinichthys. You might have been wondering what the name of this big scary fish is at the beginning of our museum. So yeah, so this was a huge, enormous fish that lived during a time called the Devonian period. That was about 380 to 360 million years ago that this fish was alive. And its name, you might guess, means terrible fish. And he looks like it might have been pretty terrible if you had been alive at the same time as this fish. Now, scientists aren't exactly sure how big this fish could have gotten because we only have a few fossils from their heads to tell us any information about them. Now, have you ever heard that word before, fossil? Can you say that word with me? Fossil. 
So a fossil, you might have heard that word when people are talking about dinosaurs or other animals that aren't around on our planet anymore. A fossil is a clue that helps us learn more about life from the past and what life used to be like on our planet. So we only actually have a few fossils from Dionychthes and they all come from the animal's heads. So the clues that we do have though show us that this animal was very similar to another big scary fish that lived a long time ago called Dunkleosteus. And so we think that this fish could have been as big as that fish, up to 30 feet long. That's about the length of two great white sharks. Really, really big fish. And if you look at their mouth, they had very, very powerful jaws. Their jaws were actually some of the most powerful jaws that we've ever discovered of any animals that used to be alive. So it used those big, powerful jaws as a predator because it would hunt other fish that were swimming in the ocean and even large squid-like animals that were swimming around in the oceans at the same time as them that were covered in shells. Now, Dinichthys was a special type of fish that actually we don't find on our planet anymore called a placoderm. Placoderms were fish that had lots of hard, heavy armor in their heads to protect them. So it was almost like a, it was a fish that was always wearing a helmet. Pretty good protection for it. It even had bony armor protection around its eyeballs. So they had a lot of protection. Now, despite what it looks like too, that bony armor on their body actually extended to their mouths. So they didn't actually have teeth like we know that they, like we know animals today have teeth. Those, what look like their teeth are actually just hard bony plates of sharp bone that would help, that came off of their jaws that would help them bite into things. Pretty interesting. And now luckily, for us anyway, Dinichthys and the other placoderms all went extinct a very, very long time ago, which means that there aren't any of them around on our planet anymore. And good thing too, I think, because I don't know if I would want to go swimming if I knew that there were any Dinichthys swimming around in Lake Michigan just off the, uh, the coast here by our museum. So these were some really interesting fish, and I've got a story about some really interesting fish too. So let's head back to our classroom and check it out. All right, today's story is One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish by Dr. Seuss. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, Blackfish, bluefish, oldfish, newfish. This one has a little star. This one has a little car. Say, what a lot of fish there are. Yes, some are red and some are blue, and some are old and some are new. Some are sad and some are glad. Some, and some are very, very bad. Why are they sad and glad and bad? I do not know. Go ask your dad. Some are thin and some are fat. The fat one has a yellow hat. From he there to here, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. Here are some who like to run. They run for fun, not in the hot, hot sun. Oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my, what a lot of funny things go by. Some have two feet and some have four. Some have six legs and some have more. Where do they come from? I can't say, but I bet they have come a long, long way. We see them come, we see them go. Some are fast and some are slow. Some are high and some are low. Not one of them is like another. Don't ask why, go ask your mother. Say, look at his fingers. 
One, two, three. How many fingers do I see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has eleven. Eleven. This is something new. I wish I had eleven too. Bump, bump, bump. Did you ever ride a wump? We have a wump with just one hump. But we know a man called Mr. Gump. Mr. Gump has a seven hump wump. So if you like to go bump, bump, just jump on the hump of the wump of Gump. Who am I? My name is Ned. I do not like my little bed. This is no good. This is not right. My feet stick out of bed all night. And when I pull them in, oh dear, my head sticks out of bed up here. We like our bike. It's made of for three. Our mic sits up in back, you see. We like our mic, and this is why Mike does all the work when the hills get high. Hello there, Ned. How do you do? Tell me, tell me, what is new? How are things in your little bed? What is new? Please tell me, Ned. I do not know, like this bed at all. A lot of things have come to call. A cow, a dog, a cat, a mouse. Oh, what a bed. Oh, what a house. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I can hear not. I cannot hear. Will you please come over near? Will you please look in my ear? There must be something there, I fear. Say, look, a bird was in your ear, but he is out. So have no fear. Again, your ear can hear, my dear. My hat is old. My teeth are gold. I have a bird I like to hold. My shoe is off. My foot is cold. My shoe is off, my foot is cold, I have a bird I like to hold, my hat is old, my teeth are gold, and now my story is all told. We took a look, we saw a nook, on his head he had a hook, on his hook he had a book, on his book was how to cook. We saw him sit and try to cook, he took a look at the book on the hook, but a nook can't read, so a nook can't cook, so what good to a nook is a cook cookbook? The moon was out and we saw some sheep. We saw some sheep talk, take a walk in their sleep. By the light of the moon, by the light of a star, they walked all night from near to far. I would never walk. I would, I would take a car. I do not like this one so well. All he does is yell, yell, yell. I will not have this one about. When he comes in, I put him out. This one is quiet as a mouse. I like to have him in the house. At our house, we open cans. We have to open many cans, and that is why we have a, zow, a Zans. A Zans for cans is very good. Have you a Zans for cans? You should. I like to box. How I like to box. So every day I box a gox. In yellow socks, I box my gox. I box in yellow gox box socks. It is fun to sing if you sing with a ying. My ying can sing like anything. I sing high, my ying sings low, and we are not too bad, you know. This one, I think, is called a yink. He likes to wink. He likes to drink. He likes to drink and drink and drink. The thing he likes to drink is ink. The ink he likes to drink is pink. He likes to wink and drink pink ink. So if you have a lot of ink, then you should get a yink, I think. Hop, 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 I am a yop. All I like to do is hop from finger top to finger top. I hop from left to right and then hop, 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 I hop right back again. I like to hop all day and night from right to left and left to right. Why do I like to hop, hop, hop? I do not know. Go ask your pop. Brush, 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 comb, 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 comb. Blue hair is fun to brush and comb. All girls who like to brush and comb should have a pet like this at home. Who is this pet? Say, he is wet. You never yet met a pet, I bet, as wet as they let this wet pet get. Did you ever fly a kite in bed? Did you ever walk with tea can cats, <laughs> 10 cats on your head? Did you ever milk this kind of cow? Well, we can do it, we know how. If you never did, you should. These things are fun, and fun is good. 
Hello, hello, are you there? Hello, I called you up to say hello. I said hello. Can you hear me, Joe? Oh, no, I can't hear your call. I cannot hear your call at all. This is not good, and I know why. A mouse has cut the wire. Goodbye. From near to far, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. These yellow pets are called Zeds. They have hair up on their heads. Their hair grows fast, so fast, they say. They need a haircut every day. Who am I? My name is Ish. On my hand, I have a dish. I have a dish. I have this dish to help me wish. When I wish to make a wish, I wave my hand with a big swish swish. They s then I say, I wish for fish. And I get fish right on my dish. So if you wish to wish a wish, you may swish for a fish with my ish wish dish. At our house, we play back, play out back. We play a game called Ring the Gack. Would you like to play this game? Come down, we have the only gack in town. Look at what we found in the park in the dark. We will take him home. We will call him Clark. He will live at our house. He will grow and grow. Will our mother like this? We don't know. And now, good night. It is time to sleep. So we will sleep with our pet Zeep. Today is gone. Today was fun. Tomorrow is another one. Every day from here to there, funny things are everywhere. The end. That book was so silly. There were so many interesting things that I've never heard of that did so many different things. Do you think any of these silly animals, these silly things in this book, acted like a, a dinichthys? Maybe so. We'll never know because all we have are the fossils that are left.
just like that. I would love to see if any of you guys make a, a Dynixies puppet at home too. And if you do, you can share pictures of it with us on our Facebook and our Instagram. I hope you guys had so much fun today learning all about Dynixies and we will see you next week.